Austin. All right. Okay. Let's see what time is. Yeah, we got 605. 605. Okay, so I got okay. Plan, I'm planning here for the live. We Hi, Austin. Yes. How, How are you doing? Good. How are y'all doing? Good, thank yes. you. Uh, <laughs> other than having a city named after you, why don't we tell the people who you are well, and what you're doing here? My name is Austin, spelled with a Y. Uh, I'm due to Colorado Springs. I'm from Nebraska originally. I'm in the military, active duty, so I can't say anything negative about it today. No more smoking. <laughs> there is no, nothing is being Smoke. used. Not at all. Perfect. Okay. okay, and I am a local singer, so I do a lot of open mics here around Woo -woo. downtown Colorado Springs. Yes. And yeah. Kind of what's going on. And let me guess, did you just write a song back there? Did I write a song back there? I just remember at John's <laughs> once, you yeah. got up and you're like, I just wrote this 15 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. And that's then you me. got up there. That was one of the best songs <laughs> that I ever heard you perform. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, you already know you're one of my favorite artists here in town. So. I love that. <laughs> but yeah, no, so I do write my own music and I'm going to start putting it out there hopefully soon once I get an you know, opportunity. Um, but yeah, I write poems, songs. How does that work when you're active duty? They don't mind you doing like oh, a second career thing. No. Obviously, you're not doing any substances that we've been right, talking about. Right, right. But, um, <laughs> but as far as doing shows and being a musician and writing. Yeah, no, so they definitely mind. Um, <laughs> they, don't, they don't really like it very much. And that's just something that I kind of have to deal with. You know, it's like it's something that is my own escape. It's mm -hmm. like they can't take that away from me. There's nothing against the rule saying I can't go express myself as a human being that part. even while I'm still active duty so at the end of the day it's not really up to them if I go up there and sing a couple songs or not but it is up to them to have an opinion and they do exactly <laughs> I'm just feeling a little yeah. nervous because I like are we okay having you out for yeah, the world I was, yeah. Yeah. No no, I'm good well uh, and Fred you're not doing anything to criticize no, or anything no, like that you just, no the military what, what, helped me out and it's actually a very good thing in my opinion yeah, so uh, what kind of stuff are you writing about? So a lot of like past experiences I've noticed. So um, I've been writing my entire life and when I was younger, when I didn't really have many life experiences of my own, I'd write about other people's and I just tell stories continuously. But now that I'm kind of experiencing things on my own, especially joining the military, getting these new relationships and all that stuff, I'm finding it easier to come up with my own storytelling. So it's kind of what I'm going for, like Taylor Swift, but in 2023, coming up tonight, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I just love it when someone says, I, when I was younger, and I, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we're all younger at one point, right? <laughs> yeah, I wish I had things figured out as, as much as you do, right? Oh, when I was your age. I mean, um, whatever that means. That was a very awkward compliment, but. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, hey. Well, do you, um, are we going to do any music? What are we going to do? I mean, what do y'all want me to do? I would love to. You don't have any. Oh, do I, would, I, did, I did bring my guitar. Oh, do you want to do something? I can, I real quick. Love, please. Yes, we yeah, would love to I, play something. Yeah, Very I much. actually. Um, we thank you. We we appreciate you guys being on the show. Thank right. you, artists. Our artists are leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. Appreciate this you. Time Happy New audience. Year's. But we Happy will. New Year's. Oh. Happy New Year's. And we're gonna have Austin play some amazing music. Again, I said Austin is one of my favorite art artists here in the Springs. You can find her um, playing at Jives, Ultra Flat. And you can also follow my Instagram. It's gonna be Austin with a Y, A U S T Y N, Elizabeth. And that's on Insta. That's where I'm at. So I actually did just write this song the other day. Yes. Um, so. And I'm gonna need you personally to do one of my favorites, and you know which one that is. Oh, girl, I don't know. I can't remember that. <laughs> I think it's just come and they go, but uh, yeah. I have what I didn't even know. 
Yes, so, that was amazing. Also. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's just a little snippet of something I wrote the other day. So tell us what is that about? That was beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, basically, what it's about is um, I'm in this relationship, and I started off believing that you know something was better along the way, you know, so to say, like there was a better thing coming, and why would I settle for this one thing? But then I realized. It's not about what's better and what's on its way. It's about what you have now. It's about what's living in the moment and how you can think about that and process it and enjoy life as it's coming down. So, yeah, the wise thoughts from a 19-year-old. <laughs> that part. You are very, very self-aware, aware, consciously aware about the things that you want to do in life and just having an open perspective and open opinion about, you know, music, the military, and growing up and being inspired and influenced by your experiences. Mm -hmm. So tell me, like, between, not between, but like, the differences between Nebraska and Colorado, um, how do you feel performing here in regards to performing in Nebraska? So performing, performing in Nebraska, I didn't get a good idea of it. Like, I'm, if I'm being honest, you know, growing up, I did a lot of choirs, a lot of like group events, so it was very planned out. It wasn't very just on my own kind of experiencing it. Um, but I will tell you that I missed out. I realized coming to Colorado that I took that for granted because you know what? As much as I love it, there's a lot of artists here. There's a lot of people that are special and trying to share what they're doing. And in Nebraska, there's not that many. So I should have taken Nebraska as what it was and tried to get a lead on that state rather than coming to somewhere where everyone is something special and then not really, you know, getting above water, so to speak, you know? Having like your foot in the door yeah, and then yeah. venturing out and right. trying to tour yeah. and go to other states. It's a lot harder when everyone's, you know, their own person. And, you know, they're all like trying to be different and coming up with this great stuff. Like, I love going to these open mics and everything because yes. people are so amazing. And then Nebraska, a lot of people are just the same, yeah. you know, being honest. So, well, to be more positive about what was that? <laughs> Man, we all got all kinds of fun on the live stream. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is makes it better. But, uh, where are you doing open mics or, and other performances here right. in town? So, uh, currently I'm just doing some busking on the sides. You can find me in downtown Manitou, downtown like old Colorado Springs. I do open mics at Jive's Coffee Lounge, and I am looking to be booked places. So, if you need to contact me, go ahead and Instagram DM me. Um, I would love to get you know, a job. <laughs> we'll give them another song in a bit. But I have to, I, I feel like we're kind of doing things a little bit like backwards in the show a little bit, you know. Um, I understand there's sort of a collaboration, something you got going on musically. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, why don't, why don't one of you guys or both of you guys explain to well, me and the audience what's going on? Okay, so I guess I'll start. <laughs> so, um, as you guys know, I am Dash, and um, I met Austin. I'm an artist as well, so just briefly, I am a singer, a poet, um, and I as well got my start at Jives. A lot of us got our start at Jives. Shout out to Jives. Dorid, we appreciate you guys. Um, I was standing outside talking to another artist as we were waiting to perform, and Austin was actually on stage. Now, mind you, she was getting ready to perform. She started performing. And I was engaged in a very deep conversation with uh, L. Shout out to Elision, which is another artist. But I was in deep conversation with uh, uh, Elision, and all of a sudden I hear the voice of a freaking angel <laughs> playing this guitar. But it was so soft, you know, that it drew me in. I literally had to go inside and just stare and listen. Like I felt kind of like in a trance. Like she was just so amazing, and. Once she finished, I ran up to her and I was like, oh my gosh, like, wow, that was fantastic. And her response, like, she was blushing, she was timid, like, she was like, oh, you know, I'm very new to this. And I was like, holy cow, yeah, we're going to write music, we're going to do stuff. And literally, yeah, and literally, like, the next day, mm -hmm. or... Yeah, was the following then, couple days, whatever, like we were writing music. And, and then performed it. Yeah. And, and we were, were, oh my God, go tell, tell them what happened. When we were performing at Jives that one day. Oh, oh, uh, we got recognized by the Gazette newspaper, 
they did a little snippet picture of us and <laughs> yes it was great mm -hmm. well we'll have to find that see if we can do a link or something and, oh yeah uh, something. totally no it's definitely a highlight mm -hmm. I'm, i kind of feel like putting you guys on the spot is there stuff like you've been practicing together or anything like that or? not lately yeah. um we've been so busy you know with life you know mm -hmm. that art for me specifically has been put on hold because i'm a mother too so um someone that's 19 compared to someone that's 29 and three children she has like she said she can busk and she can walk more yeah so. i got a little bit more time what does yeah, that word mean by the way what? what is a bus what is that busking bus i've never heard so of that you know, word you know when you're driving down the street right and you see some very talented people singing a song playing a guitar doing what they gotta do and they're on the street corner and they're just like hey I'm here. Give us some coins in that tip jar right there. Right. Hey, I'm here. I'm thinking. I'm good. You notice me. I'm, I'm good right now. That part. So that's what we do. So Basically, rec getting recognition, recognition, singing on the side of the streets. Yeah. You know. We're explaining new words. To, yeah, it's to, like your uh, own world, yeah. open mic. Yeah. So. Uh, it's like your own show. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. it can be. Yeah, yeah it just definitely can be. Corner. Okay. <laughs> well, back to what I was talking about. <laughs> Anything we want to do? Any samples you want to do anything? Well, we haven't done anything recently, but if Austin was to play another song, I think oh, that'd gosh. be amazing. I don't know if I have another song prepared. 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 Let me. Oh, do you have any poetry? I, yeah, let's do a real. It is called the Spoken Poetry Podcast. You're right. Yeah, when I started that, this I had no idea. I was well, go ahead and tell the podcast. audience what uh, the podcast is about. Oh well, it's evolving as we speak. I'm gonna talk about how it started yeah. and how we got to this point. Okay. It started, uh, well, I've had the podcast idea for a few years, but I changed it because I started writing. I was going to be on someone else's show. And for whatever reason, we couldn't get technology and stuff to work and <laughs> schedules. And I was like, gosh, I can't, I'm, I, I was all bummed because I wasn't going to go on the show. So I said, I'm going to, let's film. Nice. Mm -hmm. I did something for four minutes. It was kind of silly. I don't know if I want people to watch it or not. <laughs> But, we all started somewhere. So right, that's right. episode one. <laughs> and then I got a buddy of mine, uh, Mark Patterson, came on, who's not local, but he's a uh, something he advocates for thing you're not allowed to do. Um, <laughs> yeah. And he came on my uh, on my show and did some spoken word. And then I found a musician who I have to give a shout out to, Sarah Van Hecke, because mm -hmm. she is the first person who told me to do open mics. Nice. And uh, I can't get her to come out to one of these things. Maybe we'll maybe this little. Maybe she's watching and she'll come on out and hang out with us. Maybe, because, you know, hearing Austin perform, you know, it's very yeah. inspiring. <laughs> so I would love to hear what you have. Right. So I have this poem that I wrote uh, a while back, but, it, you know, it's still pretty accurate. So I um, don't have a name for it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. These four walls don't contain me. They don't preserve my happiness like they're supposed to. These walls are built around me, expecting me not to know what to do. I sit between believing I'm on my own, even though the pressing walls leaning in, trapping, unforgiving, and ripping me away from reality. So I'm oblivious to something that should be so obvious to the naked eye. But I live in these walls pretending that I'm all right. But I'm tired, I'm drained, and I'm slowly finding ways to escape the drywall that was made for this very reason, to take someone's emotions away. They color them eggshell white, so it would hide the pain and mask the belief that happy colors are on the way. But no, I'll stay in my car, far away from the walls that never love me, from the people trying to take my escape, from the burden of being a mistake, everlasting grieving that I might not be okay, mm -hmm. accepting that I'm in control of my sorrow and my pain, and forgiving the walls that led me astray. Thank wow. You. That's beautiful. Thank you. And I like how it was sad, but you came out at the end with, you kind of, Gonna be yeah, okay stuff. And, that's yeah. how I like to write a lot, and that's that was amazing. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So we'll have to have you back on the show. Oh, for sure, I'd love to be and, back. And are you? You don't have stuff on the YouTube or whatever yet? Or I do know? not. I am working on it, but uh, mostly you I. Just, yep, I just got a couple things on Instagram right now, but I'm working on doing more with it. So. You do now. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Sure do. You got a whole network behind you now. Oh, so down. Literally, anyone who wants to book me, please. <laughs> We're finding a way out here. Okay. <laughs> Just to blink when everyone. Well, come on, do some more songs for us sometime, and, uh, and yes. we'll put that out there. Awesome. How much time we got with this whole thing? That's about it. It's about Are we at seven? Yeah. What time is it? It's like six forty. Oh, we got lots of time. <laughs> well, well. I gotta get going. You gotta get going. 
But I mean, I have an idea. Well, okay, we're going to well, actually. No, we're good. Yeah. All right. Well, we're still going. But you're, well, you're going. Yeah, I've got to You're go. going, Bye. and then we're going to be going. But thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Austin. We will definitely be doing some we'll stuff do. in the future, Sounds whether it's poetry, spoken word, or opera. Or Don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just doing the thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Austin. Well, thank you. Are we still live? Oh, I think we should.